Here's the simple truth, that in America we have millions and millions of working people who are working hard but are not making enough money to put bread on the table or to take care of their kids, and that has got to end. Today, all over America, you got mom working, you got dad working, occasionally you have the kids working, and we still don't have enough money to pay the bills. Something is fundamentally wrong about that. The problems we face did not come down from the heavens. They are made, they are made by bad human decisions. And good human decisions can change them. It is time that the United States of America join the rest of the industrialized world and guaranteed health care to all people as a right, not a privilege. Given the incredible wealth and income inequality in America today, we need fair elections, which means public funding of elections. My Republican friends just decided to put another $38 billion into the military. Maybe we can cut military spending a little bit and put it into education. A hundred years ago, women didn't even have the right to vote. Change takes place because people struggle. Within the next month, I will introduce legislation that will make every public college and public university tuition free. I am in this business because I have four beautiful kids and I have seven beautiful grandchildren. And like you, I want to make sure that the world that we leave them is a beautiful world where people can live full and dignified lives. I don't want to see a world where people are struggling and stepping all over each other. And we can do it. We can provide health care to all of our people. We can create decent paying jobs. We can reverse climate change and transform our energy system. We can raise wages we can make sure that every person in this country gets the education they need and desire. This is not some type of utopian dream. It can happen. It really can. But it will not happen unless we stand up and fight back for not only ourselves, but for our kids and future generations. Let's do it.